What's up guys, BTBS here, and I am facing this way for a reason. I have been doing a lot of work on the uh, mansion, as you may know. Still nothing properly built there yet, though, you know, it's just sort of walls and that. Just adjust my headphones there. Ah, there we go. Comfortably, comfortably sitting on my ears. So yeah, we have the uh, mansion over there, and th oh, this? Oh, this is nothing, this is just a um, little path I've been working on. And I thought I'd show you guys this before I actually finished it. And I'm just working on the uh, overhead lighting as well. Because it just doesn't look right if there's not some overhead lighting on there, you know? Bink. And I'll tell you, this is taking a fuckload of wood to build. All them jungle wood. And then there's eight planks. Oof. I'm going through wood like no one's business. Sorry about that, guys. Got interrupted. People just don't understand recording. Right, what are we doing? Uh, yes, I was building the overhead part of this. Because, you know, just having a fence is a bit bland. And everyone has just fences. So I wanted to go something a little bit different, so yeah. I'm thinking of a way to make it look nicer. I think I might add. Oh, another layer of fence in, so in the level between these, so on this level, so it runs along, so there's an entire level of fencing, but it's going to be a lot of fence. Do -do -do. I hate walking across the fence like this. Ooh, bit of a lag there. Oh no, it's getting to night time. And you may be able to see just there, laser precision cut through the mountain there. I was, um,. I decided that this couldn't just lead out to my mansion house and this is going to be my basic uh, form of walkway between any other house I may build. Any, like any basically anything I build that's not no, directly connected. No. Okay, let's try it this way then. No. Oh wait, that was right. Shit. <coughs> Fuck. That way. Fuck. No! I saw you land the right way and then turn. Yeah. God damn these levers! You must be uniform. <sighs> Much nicer. And I'm gonna put a uh, lip on the outside of the fence to make it spider-proof. Cause you know spiders are so fucking annoying. Everything you build, you just have to make it spider-proof. Build a grinder. Oh, is it spider-proof? Build a house with a nice wall. Oh, is it spider-proof? Fucking spiders! God damn it! I think you just heard my uh, mic hit my quilt. I've uh, got my quilt wrapped around me right now because it's a bit cold. And it's very, very comfy. So fuck it. Are you gonna go from this side? No? That's better. But yes, those goddamn spiders ruin everything. Well, they, don't, they don't ruin it, they complicate everything. Necessitating. Necessitating. Is, I think is the right word there, not necessitating. Necessitating more and more and more resources. God, and then you, can't, then you get fucking cave spiders. Don't even get me started on cave spiders. I mean, yeah, I should be happy cave spiders exist. They are pretty much the reason for all my enchants throughout this series. Apart from, you know, a couple from the zombies. And I found actually lately I've been getting quite a lot of enchants by just um, running around at night killing stuff. Which is uh, oh, dreadfully, dreadfully fun as well. But, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time hunting down creepers and that. And I, do you know what I forgot was, I'm 100% sure I showed you guys my blaze farm, right? The uh, Etho design, just a single blaze spawner. And I totally forgot about that, and I, I started using that recently. I was just like, why have I not been using this? It's extremely good. Maybe not as like, experience grinder, but I didn't want it for an experience grinder. I wanted it for a blaze rod grinder. And so yeah, I've been using a looting three sword on that. I used my uh, 
by looting three Bane of Arthropods, four Diamond. I think it was. But just because, simply, there is no point when I'm going to need more items from spiders. I have around ten chests full of wall, spider string, and spider eyes. And have gone through around a hundred items enchanted from them. It's a chicken! Oh man. I chucked an egg randomly earlier, just because, you know, when I'm got a relatively full inventory, like I'm gonna go out caving or something, or building, my inventory tends to be pretty full and precise, and I don't want to waste time with actually placing the chicken egg down or throwing it in the right place, so I'll just like chuck it over the fence. So there's quite a few random chickens out here that have just been born. Hey Bob. Yeah, you saw me. But you can't get- wait, can you get me? I don't think you can. No, you can't teleport up here, can you? No, of course you can't. <laughs> oh shit, does lava burn fence? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn. Looks like I'll have to leave that one for now. Wait, if I place this down, will he like teleport onto it? No. Break you bastard. Ah, there we go. Mm, yes, now the uh Walk oh shit. Come on then, look. On the other side of the fence, you idiot. Just walk over here. Oh oh fucking hell. Come on. Uh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, come on. Come on then. Bitch, ain't ya? Yeah, come on, back you come. I can do this all night, all day, Nate. All. Let me try that. Where did he go? Is he? He is. Jumping up and down to try and get me. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. I was um a bit perplexed about my retarded speaking there. Yes, I was trying to say I can do this all day, mate. And oh, fucking Bob there I wasn't having any of. No, wait, but I don't call them Bobs. Been watching a lot of other people's videos. But yeah, when it came to this point, I wanted to make it match the uh, bridge. And of course, the bridge is too wide. So this had to be four wide or two wide. And if it's too wide, you can't get lights in there. And I wanted to keep the same sort of pattern. So I made it four wide, two lights in the middle. Very lovely. Everything looks so nice. I do very much enjoy the way my world looks right now. I do like these lights as well. It's sort of like um, fairy lights. It's what they remind me of. Just random little fairy lights above everything. Looks quite nice. Oh! God. Oh, chickens. Forgot about it. No, I wanted that there actually. I'm going to be putting uh, signs up here, instead of signs like that. Hmm. Why change this out? I don't know. Wait, these aren't lit yet, are they? No. So let's sort that out, shall we? Uh, first off, I want the wood. Where'd the jungle wood go? There. One on its side. Lovely. Then I'll just put that on there. Ah, lovely. So yeah, um, I've been doing most of the work I've been doing has been... Well, most of the work today has been just on this, uh, this here. You know, getting the wood. Oh no, that's what most of the work has been on. I'll show you now. Also, you can stop fucking complaining. I have an actual exit to my village now. There's actually a way out. So shut the hell up about that, yeah? 
Anyway, turn on from that nasty point right there. Uh, I've been caving! And let me see. Yes. I've been caving! So I've gotten. What's that? Like 16, 15 stacks of di um, diamond? 15 stacks of iron, a few redstone, some lapis. Quite a lot of emerald, actually. I was surprised by that. A bit of gold. 43 diamond ore. For fuck's sake, Skype. One second. Damn you, Brandon. I was fucking recording. Oh, right, Skype's on Do Not Disturb now, so he'll probably message me back. Ah, he just fucking has. Oh, right, anyway, yes. Caving. I like to show you guys my caving calls, just so you know where all the uh, all the shit I have come from. And yes, and this chest right here, you may have noticed something suspiciously absent from this one. And this chest is why I couldn't go caving for too long at any one time. Thirty-four, I think I counted that. Thirty, almost thirty-four stacks of coal. So this is getting bigger, and now I don't have a use for my coal, seeing as I'm using blaze rods in my furnaces. If you didn't know, uh, blaze rods are the second best fuel we have right now, the best being lava bucket, which I believe still eats the bucket, I'm not 100% sure, but a lava bucket will cook for a thousand seconds, which is a hundred cooks. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Um, a uh, blaze rod will cook for 10 cooks, which is 100 seconds, and coal only does 8 cooks, but the good thing about a piece of coal is that it scales directly to a whole stack, so, you know, like, a stack of stone is 8 coal to cook, so a stack of coal cooks 8 stacks of items. It doesn't scale so nicely with blaze rods, because it takes, like, you end up wasting them, because it, it takes 6 blaze rods, well, actually, it takes seven blaze rods to cook a stack of items with six cooks left over. Mm. But yes, caving expedition. Doing a lot of caving. Basically, what I do is I fill this up with torches and spare pickaxes. Uh, I should not be using that for everyday mining. I should be using an efficiency. Just a working pick. That will do. But yes, I just I fill this up with say an efficiency, a spare efficiency, and a spare silk touch pick, and then just the rest is pure torches. Keep one in my inventory, as you can see. I actually uh, have been doing a lot of random disjointed things. I I mined a bit of redstone off of there to make more of these glowstone lamps. I have made I have about four stacks of these, including the ones I've just placed down right now. So where's the uh, way out to the village? Well, to the house. It's funny, really, the house is behind the house. Well, you know, the posh state. I might put a thing up there being like, you know, posh gaff. Because this really is the council house. Hey, look, it's my little prisoner. <laughs> Still got him. Three? Huh, nice. You know, this is kind of the shit estate. And this is the posh gaff up here. Getting a couple of random lag spikes lately. I don't know what it is. It could be the fact that I am doing about 50 things at once. Been watching a lot of uh, QI. British viewers might know what that is. Uh, you know what? I need more. F no, I don't need more fence for now. But I absolutely love QI. It's one of those things that you know you can watch it for a while and then you can say stuff which makes you sound really smart. You don't even have to be smart, it just makes you sound smart. Oh. And then... Ah, see, this is what I'm not going to like. The, um... These, if I'm doing it like that, there's going to have to be two of them on there. Maybe I should just double up on the, uh... Just double up on the old thing. Um, I think I will. I'll put two torches down, two lamps down, sorry. And then I'll double up on the fence as well. So you have two fence. So I might actually run out of fence before the end of this. Because it's going to be six fence a furlong. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? Um, one, two, three, four. Have it stopped overhead. Oh, I've got enough fence. That's all good. 
see this one moves onto that direction. I know I don't need to, but it looks nicer. It's like a knot, you know. No, it's an AND gate. It's it's the very simplest AND gate ever created. For for them to not get power, that one and that one have to be off. There you go, you redstone enthusiasts. The simplest AND gate ever created. Even though it's probably not an AND gate, and I'm probably doing it wrong. I don't know, I don't give a fuck about all the different gates. I mean, I know a bit about them, but, you know, I don't think I'm going to need to know the proper engineering terms on, like, the the correct way to build and maintain an RS Norlatch or something. Fucking, I'm not an engineer. Well, actually, I almost am. Kind of, oh, I didn't go up. Let's see, it was supposed to rise there. Get up there, you twat. Ugh, fucking fence. See, it should have risen up right there. Right there. Like that. Not like that. So now we should just, uh... I, I could have just left it there and used it as a guide. I totally forgot that it rose up. Ow. Right, I'm going to keep this one pretty short, I reckon I might just end this episode here. And I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of this off camera. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know what we'll do next episode. I might show you my secret project I've been working on. Oh, what did he say? No, you didn't hear anything there. Peace out, guys.